Hello students, in this video we shall discuss example number 2 of chapter 2 polynomials. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x squared plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So here we got a quadratic polynomial. We need to find out the zeros of this polynomial and then verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So let's find out the zeros x squared plus 7x plus 10. So we need two numbers which multiplied gives 10 and added gives 7. So if I do 5 into 2 that equals to 10 and 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So split the middle term x squared plus 5x plus 2x plus 10. This we have learnt in grade 9. Now we will form pairs. Take the first two terms and x is common. So x comes out x plus 5 plus the last two terms 2x plus 10. 2 is common. So 2 out x plus 5. Always these two expressions would be the same. Okay. Equals to x plus 2 into x plus 5. Now these are the factors of this given polynomial. To find out the zeros we need to equate it to 0. So x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to take 5 to the other side minus 5. So these are the two zeros of the polynomial. The meaning of 0 is if I put this value that is minus 2 or minus 5 in this given polynomial, the whole thing will become 0. So that's why these are called the zeros of the polynomial. So we will write therefore zeros of the given polynomial are minus 2 and minus 5. Now we need to verify the relationship. So we will do verification a is equal to that is the coefficient of x squared 1 b is equal to coefficient of x which is 7 c is equal to the constant term 10 and the zeros of the polynomial is represented by alpha and beta. So we can take alpha is equal to minus 2 and beta is equal to minus 5. For verification we need to prove that sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros which is alpha into beta is equal to c by a. If we can prove that this left hand side is equal to right hand side, again here left hand side is equal to right hand side, then we are verifying the relationship. Okay, so alpha plus beta minus 2 minus 5, minus 2 plus minus 5 is equal to minus b by a, 7, 1, minus 7 by 1, minus 2 plus minus 5 is minus 7 you can just do plus minus minus and then you can do minus 7 and right hand side is also minus 7 because minus 7 by 1 is minus 7 so these two are equal so this is verified now for the product of zeros alpha into beta minus 2 into minus 5 is equal to c by a that is 10 so minus 2 into minus 5 is 10 because minus minus becomes plus is equal to 10 so here also left hand side is equal to right hand side. So we can say hence verified. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.